ATP gated ion channel P2X receptor. This is the trimeric structure of P2X receptor in the closed state. The P2X receptor extracellular domain looks like a dolphin. Its central body domain is made of an elongated beta sandwich in red. Upper region of the body domain is the major conserved interface for extracellular domain trimmers in. The dolphin head domain in red has three anti-parallel beta sheet and an alpha helix. The head domain interacts with the body domain of the neighboring subunit. Interslobunit non-canonical ATP binding sites are at the body domain in red, green and yellow. The ATP binding pocket is positively charged. ATP binding moves the dorsal fin domain in orange upwards and pushes out the left flipper of the neighboring subunit in magenta as shown in solid colors. The dorsal fin and the left flipper are coupled to the lower body domain in red and causes its outward flexing, as shown in red and pink. The movement of the lower body domains expands the transmembrane helices. The P2X receptor has two anti-parallel transmembrane helices at the N and C terminus of each subunit. The inner TM2 makes an ion permeation pathway of 7 angstroms diameter. The P2X receptor apoform structure takes a closed conformation. The inner C terminal helices are angled 45 degrees from the membrane normal and cross each other at the center of the membrane, constricting the pore. The extracellular domains make three fenest rations for ion conduction near the membrane plane for ion conduction. The possible ion permeation pathway along the central threefold axis is too narrow for ions to pass. Negatively charged vestibule of the extracellular domain contribute to the cation selectivity of the channel. 